Hello, Glenn Berry from Atmont Environmental on site with another one of our installments today looking at soil vapor. What is soil vapor and why is that important? Soil vapor contamination arises when we have volatile contaminants present in the soil or groundwater. Those volatile contaminants can liberate off the soil and emanate upwards into buildings, enclosed spaces, or excavations, leading to chronic health risks that need to be assessed as part of any comprehensive site assessment. So why is soil vapor assessment becoming so important with environmental site investigations? Simply, soil vapor assessment provides a direct measure of the risk on a site due to these volatile contaminants. And this is advantageous cost-wise because we're not needing to drill groundwater wells or indirectly get the risk from soil concentrations, and that leads to cost savings. A brief technical overview then. Volatile contamination is simply when we have contaminants that have a low boiling point and they evaporate readily. This means that it can come into buildings and into enclosed spaces or excavations. Conceptually, we want to look at the source and at the groundwater and how that might be migrating off the site where the pollution has occurred and into neighboring areas. Right, so to actually undertake a soil vapor assessment, we can do it one of two ways. We can use a passive sampler by deploying a diffusion sampler and retrieving that afterwards, or we can use an active technique, which means taking a direct sample of the soil gas at its site and analyzing that. Uh, which is what we're doing today. I'm here with Jared Hannon, my uh, senior environmental consultant and project manager for this project. Uh, are you ready, Jared, to take us through some of the steps? Yes, glad we're doing you on. Great. And that's our sub slab vapor pin installed. The next step of the process is to perform a leak test to ensure the integrity of the installation. To do that, I seal this cylinder around the pin, fill with ionized water, and confirm there's no leaks. We've now completed all the necessary leak testing and we're ready to start sampling. I've removed the cylinder. I've connected up our sample train, put the shroud over the pin, inserted the isopropyl alcohol, also known as IPA, and we're ready to go. So this concludes our video on soil vapor assessment. If you have a site that has some potential risk due to vapor intrusion by volatile contaminants, call out my environmental. We'll get the details from you, we'll look at the risks around it, and come back to you with a fee proposal within three business days. Thanks for watching.